from being forbidden to earn money independently to the ban on hugging her husband in public, the strict rules Kate Middleton must follow are indeed daunting. Meanwhile, Prince Harry seems unlikely to ever regain the trust of Prince William and Princess Kate amid information leaks, and how a recent Sussex project has overshadowed Princess Kate. We will discuss all this today, but let's take it step by step. The life of a princess is not easy, and it's hard to disagree with that. Contrary to what people might think, the life of the Duchess of Cambridge is far from glamorous and carefree. There is a strict protocol that Kate Middleton must follow, and living in the public eye as she does, there are no exceptions. After marrying Prince William, she had to adapt to the lifestyle and rules established by Queen Elizabeth Roman II for life at court. And believe us, there are a lot of rules to follow, and all of them must be strictly observed. Such is the price of status. Strict rules Kate Middleton must follow some of the rules that the princess must follow are not without controversy. The queen sets the rules and has been in control of them for a long time. Despite decades of change, some rules have never been altered, leading to some interesting modern social conflicts. From being forbidden to earn money independently to being forbidden from hugging her husband in public, discover some of the rules that the Duchess of Cambridge must adhere to. The Duchess of Cambridge became a celebrity after joining the royal family. However, she is not allowed to give autographs to fans, which disappoints many. Of course, according to royal rules, she can only sign official documents pre-approved by the Queen. This rule exists to prevent the possibility of someone forging documents in the name of a member of the royal family. As a result, only photographs and handshakes are allowed. Let's recall that the Princess of Wales married the Prince of Wales in April 2011. In a recent video, Princess Kate was spotted without her wedding ring while standing next to Prince William. The Prince and Princess of Wales delighted their royal fans over the weekend by appearing in a video praising the British team after the recent Olympics. While most viewers were charmed by the Prince of Wales' beard, others noticed a surprising detail in the short clip. The Princess of Wales displayed another ring alongside her engagement ring, leading viewers to wonder why the royal no longer wears her wedding ring. Reasons for not wearing the wedding ring, there are several reasons why Kate might have decided not to wear her wedding ring. In March, a respected female oncologist, Dr. Joggy Luo, stated that this could explain why Kate removed her wedding ring. She said that during cancer treatment, there are several practical reasons why it may be necessary to remove rings. Chemotherapy can cause fluid retention in the hands, making rings tight and difficult to wear. It's also important to note that metal rings can interfere with radiation therapy and cause issues such as skin burns around the ring. The expert continued, Since patients are at high risk of infections during chemotherapy, removing rings can help prevent skin infections. Overall, removing rings during cancer treatment can help avoid these potential issues. Given the news about her health and the appearance of a new special ring, the most likely reason Princess Kate removed her wedding ring is that it became too tight. This special ring closely resembles a promise ring that Prince William gave Kate during their university years. Jeweler Stephen Stone said, during their time at university, William gave her a promise ring, and although it's hard to say for sure, the footage suggests that she may be wearing this sentimental piece again. The ring is set on a Victorian rose gold band with two garnets, Kate's zodiac stone and pearls, symbolizing William's birthstone for June. Prince Harry's trust issues with the royal family, there is also news that concerns many just as much. Prince Harry will never regain the trust of Prince William. A source claims that Prince Harry will never regain the trust of the royal family members after revealing intimate details in his autobiography. As we remember, the Duke of Sussex's autobiography was published in January 2023 and contained numerous attacks on senior members of the royal family. 
It also included personal details of his interactions with family members, including Prince William and Princess Kate. According to an insider, many royal family members are now unable to communicate with Prince Harry for fear that he will disclose details in a second autobiography. The source reported, The problem for the king and other family members is that they worry that if they talk to Harry it will appear in the second volume. How can he regain trust? I don't think Harry will ever be able to do that. But from my conversations with the king, I would never say that their relationship is irreparable. His love for his son has not diminished. However, there are other royal family members who are much more determined in their stance against Harry, and that's the issue. After the book's publication, King Charles asked Harry and Meghan to vacate Frogmore Cottage. The Duke of Sussex requested to keep Frogmore until King Charles' coronation in May 2023. In July 2023, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex officially left the royal residence and have since not found a permanent home in the UK. A report published last month revealed that Frogmore Cottage remains vacant a year after the eviction of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. After leaving Frogmore Cottage, Prince Harry visited London several times, but not the royal family's residences. An insider told the Daily Mail that the eviction from Frogmore Cottage made it difficult for the Duke of Sussex to visit the UK regularly. And what's even more interesting is that a royal commentator claims the recent Sussex project has stepped on the toes of Princess Kate. The royal commentator accused Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of trying to steal the spotlight from Kate after their trip to Colombia drew attention to a project important to the Princess of Wales. Harry and Meghan's recent trip to Colombia, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex completed a four-day tour of the South American country at the invitation of Colombian Vice President Francia Marquez. Kate has a great interest in child protection, and in 2021, the Princess founded the Center for Early Childhood, an initiative dedicated to understanding how the first five years of life fundamentally shape who we become. Francia Marquez, who invited Meghan and Harry, praised the Archuel Foundation, led by the couple, for what she called its global leadership in creating a safer online environment. She told Quinn Media, this would have been music to Meghan's ears, but British palace officials are annoyed that Harry and Meghan are once again trying to steal the spotlight from a key issue, central to the royal family's role. The Duke and Duchess visited Colgio El Rodeo School in the Santa Fe district of Bogota, considered one of the best educational institutions in the world. They were shown the school's social and emotional gym, which offers a balanced mix of mental and physical exercises. This trip is part of a broader initiative aimed at bringing together a diverse group of people united by a common vision of a healthier and more ethical digital landscape. Harry talked about how misinformation on social media can cause unrest. Meanwhile, Princess Kate had previously spoken about how much she cares about the early years of children's education. At the gala in support of a drug addiction prevention campaign in 2019, the princess said her interest in the topic arose during her early years of work in the royal family. She said, in recent years, I have focused on the importance of prevention, how we can all truly support children in their earliest years of life, lay the foundation, and help avoid difficulties in later life. Meeting so many people suffering from addiction, I have repeatedly come to understand that, unfortunately, the root cause can often be traced back to the very earliest years of a person's life, Kate's response to Meghan and Harry, but Kate has something to counter Meghan and Harry with she is making a comeback. A source claims that Princess Kate is in the spotlight in the U.S., while Meghan Markle and Prince Harry failed to make an impression in Los Angeles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to California in 2020. The same year, they stepped down as senior working royals. Despite living in Montecito for almost five years, they have faded from public conversations. A friend and advisor to the royal family told the Times, what they have failed to do is to create a public presence that is respected and popular. 
I was recently in Los Angeles and was struck by the fact that they are not a topic of conversation. Everyone wanted to know about the King's health and Kate. Harry and Meghan have fallen out of the conversation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not on speaking terms with the Prince and Princess of Wales. The Duke of Sussex last saw Princess Kate at the coronation of King Charles in May 2023.